Okay, hey guys, um, this is going to be a really quick, um, should be pregnancy video because they don't have too much else to go over, um, and I'm also getting ready to leave right now, um, because Steven has a follow-up doctor's appointment and a couple errands that we're going to run today, so, um, I am 16 weeks and three, three days today, um, the day that I'm recording this, and I waited to do this because um, I had to schedule um, a quick appointment for yesterday because um, I started having um, itching and redness, and there was also pain with intercourse, so I know it's common for yeast infections during pregnancy, and I've had them in the past. So I went, oh, I think this is what it is. Um, but when you're pregnant, they obviously don't want you to treat yourself, you know, with like the over-the-counter yeast things. You can use those, but um, I wanted to go to the OB first just to make sure it wasn't anything else. Um, and sure enough, I went in and she did... The, she took the culture and she went and looked in under under the microscope. She came back and she said, you know, if I had a med student with me, I would be really happy because that was like a prime, perfect textbook example of a yeast infection. So um, the good news is she was able to give me um, a prescription strength pill. I don't remember the name of it, but it's the pill that you take. It's a one-time pill. Um, so you take the one pill, and it'll take, like, a couple days to work in your system. But that's it. One pill, take it, you're done. No more, you know, remembering to take a pill or anything else um, after that. So that was good. Um, so I treated that, um, and I do have another OB appointment next week on the 29th. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing at that appointment. If I'm having an ultrasound there or not, I know I also have one September 4th um, in the maternity ward of the hospital, which is my anatomy skin. So within the next two weeks, we will know what this baby is, and then of course, um, I will reveal the gender and reveal um, the name and um, I do have a couple other babyish videos that I'm going to be doing. Um, one, I am creating my own thank you note um, with an idea I saw off of Pinterest. And I've debated um, buying or making them myself, but I finally just decided to go ahead and make them myself. So I hand stamped the envelopes um, last night, and I'm still working on the actual card part of it, so um, I plan to do that video. Um, symptoms, um, morning sickness is pretty much gone. Um, there are a few times I get nauseous or queasy, but it's only really certain foods that we're noticing that the um, baby doesn't like. Eggs are one of them, and crispy crowns are another. Those are things that apparently make me queasy. Um, not any really, I mean, other things going on. I mean, the yeast infection is one thing, but um, I have been experiencing some hip, some pain in my left hip that is kind of really severe at night when I lay down. And I think it's sort of just, you know, my body finally relaxing and unwinding from the day and stretching. So, um... I am going to bring that up at my next OB appointment, but it's nothing that seems too bad. Um, yeah, there's not really any other changes, so I will do a belly shot and then talk to you guys later. So, I am wearing one of my um, non-pregnancy shirts. Um, I, I started wearing, or at least trying to still wear the clothes that I can still fit into a little bit, and this one's still a little flowy. I mean, you can kind of see if, like, I do this, you can kind of see that there is a belly here. And it's still, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so, I mean, it's not like I've had any real food, so, 
Um, up here is, of course, still my stomach, but down here it's starting to get, you can see, like, in these pants, it's really, really rounded, and I will take the camera down for a second so that I can show you guys without the pants. As I said, you can see that it's definitely popped out right here. Mainly, I can tell you, um, sorry, the mirror is dirty. So I just realized you guys couldn't really see where it's pointing. Um, there is a little bit of, like, some of this I've mentioned in the previous vlog is extra, like, skin and things from when I've lost weight over the years. But this, um, primarily now is where my uterus is. So that's from there, and that's from the front and the, this side. You can kind of tell there's a, a bump right here. And, of course, I can feel it's really hard right here. Um... And this is, of course, um, well, actually, hold on. Let me pull these back up, and then I'll talk about these. Um, these are a pair of the maternity capris that just have the um, bands right here. And I have one of my, I'm actually able to start wearing my bras again because I had to wait a little bit because the scar hurt. But this is one of the, um, the nursing bras that I have. And this one is actually, this one fits me. The other one that I got doesn't really fit anymore. And there's one bra that I have from pre-pregnancy that's still fitting pretty good. So I'm really trying to hold out as far as buying, like, any more, like, nursing or maternity bras towards the end of my pregnancy slash, like, when the baby's born so that, you know, I'll actually be, like, the correct size. So, yeah. That is this week's vlog, and I will talk to you guys later.